The crowds earnestly looked for Jesus and finally found him on the other side of the Sea of Capernaum. Just the day before, Jesus had miraculously fed all of them with only a couple loaves of bread and some fish, and while it had satisfied them at the time, they returned to him hungry. But this is why they sought Jesus so desperately, not for who he was, but because he had amazed them at what he had done. The miracle reminded them of the days of Moses, when the nation of Israel was nourished daily with bread from heaven. Perhaps Jesus, like Moses, could usher in a new age for their people. Jesus spoke to the crowd, You worked so hard to find me, but only so you could ask me for bread that satisfies a short while. Why aren't you looking for the bread that will satisfy you forever? Bread that satisfies forever? Many in the crowd began to wonder how they could get this miraculous bread from God. They asked Jesus, What works of God must we do in order to get this bread? Jesus replied, I am sent from God. Believe in me. But the crowd searched for a sign and questioned Jesus. Yes, you multiplied bread and fed thousands, but Moses brought down bread from heaven and fed millions. What great work will you do that will demonstrate that you are greater than Moses? Jesus said, You must hear me and understand this. Moses did not give you the manna. My Father gave it to you. And now he has sent to you the bread of life that I speak of. The expressions on the faces that looked back at him were mixed, some skeptical, some hopeful, and others simply eager to hear as they said, Please give us this bread always. The crowd waited intently for his answer. Then Jesus announced, I am that bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst again. He spoke of his body as bread and his blood as wine. The suggestion of sacrifice disturbed and confused numbers of people who would not receive his words. In fact, many who had been following Jesus walked away from him on that very day. Jesus turned to the apostles and asked, Will you leave me as well? Peter spoke up for the others. Lord, where else would we go? You alone have the words of eternal life.